Welcome, this is Joe from The Cell Phone Geek. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing here of a solar charger uh, wireless power bank. So we'll go ahead and tear it apart and take a look and check it out and uh, yeah, see what it's all about. So I uh, got this purchased here. This is the F16W uh, which has got uh, the uh, plus built-in solar panel for emergency power so you can charge it by plugging it in and charging it through USB or the one side has a solar panel on it, so you just leave this out in the sun, especially for those that like to go camping. Uh, you just set this out in the sun or like on the dashboard of your car, and it will charge this power bank up, and then you'll be able to charge your cell phone. Um, this does have a flashlight built in. It's got a wireless charging pad on it, so you can literally just set your phone on it and charge your phone that way as well. So it does have a bunch of different uh, functions on it, and this also comes with a Type-C uh, cable. So this is the micro USB-C uh, cable adapter that it comes with as well. Uh, it's great for traveling, it's great for camping like I said, great for hiking, fishing, going to the beach. Um, so pretty much you can just take this, throw this in your backpack and you can, uh, when your phone battery goes low uh, from taking all those pictures or from doing uh, a live stream, this is a perfect uh, way to charge your phone real quick and get it back up and working so you can take more pictures to uh, remember your vacation and making memories uh, on it it has two USB ports um, as outputs so you can charge two devices at one time if you do have to plug them in if it doesn't have the wireless uh, IQ charging capability on your phone or um, Bluetooth speaker whatever it may be that you want to charge um, like I said it does have the, U the type C uh, charging port as well it has the wireless charging it has uh, the ability to charge either through the micro USB type C um, port or by the, by the sun through the solar panel. This is also water resistant. Um, this is the IP6S. So it can get wet without killing it. You just don't want to drop it in a swimming pool obviously because that will kill it. And then also it has uh, a three mode light uh, flashlight on it as well. So you can use this as a flashlight at night. And it's got uh, one of the modes is the uh, SOS, or it has a strobe, and then just a steady on. So those are your three options. And the other side just tells you that it's a solar charger wireless power bank. Uh, on top says it's a rugged waterproof series. And on the bottom it shows you all the different devices you can charge from here. So they just for a couple, they have it listed as an iPad, GPS, your, your iPhone, uh, your Blackberry, for those that still use Blackberries. Uh, you got your iPods and your little handheld uh, games like the PSP, Nintendo Switch, um, and obviously anything else. Pretty much like I said, Bluetooth speakers would be a good one uh, to use. I know I've run into that before where my Bluetooth speaker died from streaming music when we're out at the beach. So this will come in handy to recharge that so we can continue to jam out and listen to our music while we're out. Always going to go ahead here and pop this tab. Get this unboxed for us here and check it out. So I'm just gonna slide it out of the box here. Set the box off to the side. So in the packaging here, it's just a clear package. Uh, we've got a couple of, we got a, a cord. This is a micro USB-C on one side and the normal flat USB on the other side. So you can plug it in to charge this either from a phone charger um, bank or yeah that plugs into the wall like a AC to USB charger or you can use a DC like your car serial lighter charger adapter you use for your phone that plugs that has USB port on it to charge this um, or if you got outlets on your wall that have USB ports that would work as well we also have a little strap here I'm guessing for carrying I'll take a look at that in a second and the actual item is here in a nice little plastic sleeve and then we've got uh, a manual and then also uh, a, a thank you card for getting it so I'll put those off to the side here and then here is the the manual it's pretty pretty thick uh, multi-page manual it is in a bunch of languages which is pretty normal these days uh, just walks through specification 
Um, let's see, solar charging can charge at 5.5 volts or 280 milliamps. Depends on uh, how much sun you're getting. Um, your output does 10 watts max. The wireless charging is 5 watts max. Um, your USB port does uh, your 5 volts per USB port. Um, so that'd be like the higher end for like the newer iPhones uh, and iPads that are looking for that 5 volts or the new Android uh, like Samsung Galaxies. So charge a little quicker than the normal standard. Uh, I forget what they used to charge as a 2, I think it's like 2 two volts or something like that. So this will give it that little extra boost like the turbo charging is what most people call it these days, but technical terms, it's just charging it at five volts. Uh, I've got the solar, the uh, indicator lights on it, so it lets you know percentage of battery. Um, let's see anything else on there. It's got a low battery alarm, so when it gets down to ten percent, it'll. Uh, when it gets down to ten percent, it says that the. The one LED power indicator light will start blinking, letting you know that it is just about dead. And if there's nothing plugged into it, it says after 30 seconds it will stop flashing. Otherwise, if there is something plugged in, it will flash, and then it will then turn itself off. So obviously it doesn't ruin the battery in that case, which makes sense. That's a good thing, because you don't want to completely drain the battery, because then it won't be able to take a charge again. Um, always on the front here, it just shows you all the different parts of the actual device. So we'll go ahead here and jump over to the device. So I'm going to slide it out of its packaging here. Ooh, it's nice. And it's pretty lightweight. Um, I would say this probably weighs about two pounds. So it's not too bad. So if, um, you're going to take it with you when you go hiking or stuff. And I know, like for the Boy Scouts, uh, you uh, have to weigh your bag. So this is not a, a bad thing to have. I mean, this weighs probably about as much as your iPhone does. Um, probably like an iPhone Plus. It's probably about the same amount of weight. So <clears throat> not too bad uh, weight-wise. So this is the side with your solar panel. So you just put this out in the sun and it will charge it. The bottom here is your light indicators to let you know how full the battery is charged on the device. Um, the sides, the orange here are some rubber bumpers. And then in between is just uh, some black plastic. So you got the rubber bumpers. So if you do drop it, it should be able, it's pretty durable. It should bounce back. Um, as we flip it over here, the top here is your flashlight. And this would be your IEQ charging or your wireless charging there where you can set your phone on if your phone supports wireless charging. So you can set it on there and charge it. <clears throat> um, let's see. The top here has the, oh, a little cutout for your strap. So you can slide your strap through here. So then you can hook this on to your uh, backpack when you're hiking. And then as long as you have the solar panel side face out as you're walking and hiking, it will uh, charge off the sun, which is a cool idea. Instead of obviously if you, just, if you drop this into your backpack while hiking, it's not going to be able to charge. The sun won't be able to, to get into your backpack. But by having this hang on the outside of your backpack, this will charge from the sun as you're walking, which is a cool little feature as well. Uh, on the bottom here of it, it's got the... USB symbol if you can see it sort of the light bounces off of it so you can flip this flap open and that's where all of your ports are so starting from left to right uh, first one here is your micro USB C that's where you would uh, charge it up if you're going to charge it by the by USB instead of off the sun and then the two USB ports next to it are your uh, 5 volts each that's where you would plug in your cable to then plug in your iPhone or your device to charge them up. So these would these two USB ports would be an output. So that would charge it just like you would plug in uh, something into the wall. So it's giving you power from the device. Whereas the port on the far left, your micro USB-C, that would be um, an input. So that's taking electricity from another from your whatever is plugged into the other end of this cable into here. So it's going to be drawing power into the battery to charge this battery. So that's nice. It's got the nice rubber plug on here so that will keep it all nice and dry so if you're out hiking and it uh, rains on you you won't short anything out so it will be able to charge without anything being exposed um, it's pretty nice
I would uh, definitely uh, recommend this, especially uh, for those novice that uh, like to go hiking or that do a lot of walking and taking pictures. Um, so you always have power on hand, whether you just need it for uh, a flashlight or if you do uh, need to charge your, your camera, your phone. Um, on, when you're looking at the solar panel side, the left side here is where your power button is. If you can see that orange button there, so if you push it, once you push it, see I got a light here letting me know that it is slightly charged, so it does need to be charged, um, so it is low. And if I push it again, let's see if I can turn it off. You hold it down maybe to turn it off. Oh, that turns on the flashlight. So there's your SOS, and then if you push the power button again, that would be your strobe light. You see it's strobing there. So if I push it again, it turns it off. When you hold it in, that will turn on the flashlight. When you push it again, that's the dimmer light. And then when you push it again, that will be your SOS. And you push it again, that would be your strobe light. So that is pretty neat. That is the uh, battery pack with solar panel on it. Um, I know a lot of people at this point have uh, rechargeable power banks, but the nice thing about this one, it does have solar panel, like I was saying, so you can charge it off the sun, so you don't necessarily have to plug it in and charge it uh, from within your house. Or if you're on the go, you don't have to worry about having it charged ahead of time. Um, you can, obviously, and then just to keep it maintained or keep it charged, you can let it charge off the sun. So that's a nice feature to have. Uh, so I'll definitely be using this the next time we go uh, hiking and when we're traveling here and going to the beach. So that way we always have extra power just in case we need it for anything. Well, thank you for uh, watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Thanks. Have a great day.